What is going on guys? Grave here today. I want to talk about two major changes coming with update 31 that I have not discussed in past videos. Of course, I've been talking about, you know, the light and medium armor changes. There's two other changes in my opinion that are going to be pretty big things in game. One's a big quality of life uh, fix for everyone. And that's going to be the option to be able to reply to any mail you receive in game. So once update 31, the waking flame DLC is released, you will actually have the option if you receive mail to just hit reply. If you need to tell that individual something, if you're a guild owner, you know, you have uh, mail from maybe some of your guild members, you need to reply to them. This is going to make life a lot easier than having to go into your friends list to your guild roster, find the person, you know, then type in your message. You can just hit reply and reply to that individual very quickly. This will be a big help on console. Uh, I'm sure all of you out there that play on console like I do, you know how sometimes the friends list or the guild roster does not work. Sometimes they're bugged out. You can't get it to load, whatever the case may be. So the ability to be able to reply to someone should have been added in the game a long time ago, in my opinion. But sadly, it's taken this long, actually, to get it put in game. And I think this is going to be a big quality of life change. The other thing that I think is going to be a big change is the changes that's coming to all the different abilities if you decide to run an ice staff. I think running an ice staff on a damage build is going to be very viable now if you set it up correctly. And I think if you're a tank that likes to run an ice staff, I know a lot of people out there do, I always like running an ice staff with a tank. Uh, this is also going to be he very helpful to you know tank builds as well. You're looking at you know damage buffs to the you know the ice staff side if you're running an ice staff as a mage or something like that. So if you want to run an ice mage style build, you're definitely going to have a lot of options there. Also, there's a lot of taunts, debuffs, uh, the ability to, uh, you know, put major maim, minor maim, the chilled status effect on enemies. There's a lot of things going on with some of the, you know, different ice abilities, you know, if you have an ice staff equipped. So if you look in your staff abilities, you're going to see some changes there. So be sure you're looking at those. If you would like to try out maybe something that's not been meta, uh, I don't know if it's ever been meta, honestly. I can't think the last time or think of the last time that ice staffs were just great besides, you know, here and there. But the ability to be able to run ice staff as a damage dealing character will be kind of interesting. I think people are going to come up with a lot of theory crafting builds. But I think the biggest bonus to this, uh, the biggest upside to this is going to be on that tanking side. If you like to tank with an ice staff, you're going to have more options now to taunt, more debuffs. Like I said, that minor and major main, that chill status effect, that's going to be really big you know, for tanks that like to use an ice staff and maybe a sword and board. So anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.